Hi, I'm Melissa Clark from the dining section, and I'm here to bring a little sunshine into your winter. I'm going to show you how to make the most refreshing, the brightest, the puckeriest salad of your entire season, and that's a citrus salad. I mean, it's really cold outside. You don't want to go out to get salad greens. And you remember that arugula that you bought last week? It's looking pretty sad in your fridge. But chances are you've got that grapefruit you meant to eat for breakfast. Maybe there's an orange somewhere in the back of your fridge. You can turn these into an amazing salad. When most people think about peeling an orange, they think, oh, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna dig my hand in and I'm gonna rip off the peel. Ruins your manicure, takes a really long time. And also, it's kind of messy for a salad because you've got all that white pith, but there's a really easy trick to getting the peel off and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So the trick to it is to cut off the top of the orange and then cut off the bottom so it stands up and then just slip your knife underneath the pith and expose all that gorgeous juicy fruit underneath. As you can see, you are losing a little bit of the fruit, but that's okay. You really want it to be clean because you don't want to eat the pith. The pith is bitter, it's nasty, you want to get rid of it. And now there are two things you can do once you've peeled your orange like this. You can either do something that the French call supreming the orange, which is this. You take your knife and you want to go in between the membranes and you are slipping these little orange segments right out. Look how pretty that is. Just slip them out. But you probably don't want to take the time to supreme an orange every time you want to have a salad. So this is what I like to do. You take your peeled fruit and you just slice it up. Just slice it crosswise. You can do thin slices, you can do thick slices. I like to do medium slices, about a quarter inch. because I think that gives a nice texture in the mouth. The great thing about this is that you can make the salad ahead. It'll last for an hour or two. So if you want to cut up your citrus fruit, you know, while your roast is in the oven, it'll still work. The same technique works with any kind of citrus fruit. It works with these gorgeous blood oranges. Look at that. If you see a seed while you're going, just take the tip of your knife and flick it out. Goodbye seed, see you later. Grapefruit. It works with pomelos. Look at that, I mean, come on, that's gorgeous. If you are gonna use a pomelo and you get down to the end of it, just take your knife and run it around the core. You wanna get rid of that, nobody wants to eat that. The only thing it won't work with are clementines and tangerines. That's because these have really loose skins. So in the case of these, it's easier to just go in, peel it real fast with your hands. There's not a lot of pith that's clinging because the, the peel just slips right off, so. And then what you do is you just break it up into sections. And then I like to peel off, do you see this white membrane? These little kind of stringy things? I just, you know, peel those off with my fingers real fast, just so they're not flopping all over my salad. Now that you've cut up all your gorgeous citrus fruit, it's so easy to turn it into a salad. I like to leave it, the whole ones, whole, so they look like flowers. And I like to mix up the colors, it's so pretty. And then these broken ones, you can just kind of put on top, almost like, imagine petals blown in the wind. People always ask how much citrus for a salad. Well, if you're one person, you're probably gonna eat one to two oranges. If you're two people, double it and onward and onward. One thing about putting a citrus salad on the plate instead of doing it in a normal salad bowl like you would a green salad is you're not tossing. And the reason for that is if you toss a citrus salad, all of those beautiful pieces of orange and grapefruit are gonna turn to mush. They're just gonna disintegrate. I like to season this really simply because I love the flavors of the citrus. They just burst in the mouth. So I just use olive oil and sea salt, really simple. Of course, you've gotta use really good olive oil and really good sea salt. And then you just wanna drizzle just a little bit on top, making sure that all of the pieces get just a little bit of oil. And then again with the salt, just a teeny bit. What the salt does is it brings out the flavor and that's really what you're looking for. For the simplest citrus salads, I don't even add anything else. I don't add pepper, I just leave it like this because it's so good, it doesn't need a thing. You can pretty much add whatever you want on top of a citrus salad. I like to contrast color if I can, and I like to contrast texture, but really whatever you have, just sprinkle it on top as a garnish. For example, mint leaves. This makes it kind of Moroccan. Prosciutto is really nice. It makes the salad a little more substantial. Olives, you can use green or black. Parmesan cheese. 
I used a vegetable peeler to make these nice long strips. Capers. Capers are excellent. Or feta cheese. I love feta cheese. Of course, you can do combinations of ingredients too. Feta olive or prosciutto pomegranate. If it tastes good to you, it's gonna taste good on the salad. 